This is just a sample of the audiobook. To get the complete audiobook access the link posted in the first comment. Or how they could revamp their old menus to attract more customers. That's how many famous dishes came to be, including the Black Label Burger at Mineta Tavern, the Shake Shack All Natural Burger, and our signature original filet mignon steak sandwich. Most people don't know the amount of time, commitment, and work that goes into the piece of meat on their plate. I'm here to explain it to you. This isn't your average farm-to-table book. It's not for the faint of heart. I want to take you behind the scenes of each stage of the process, the ups, the downs, the struggles, the accomplishments, and the misconceptions surrounding beef, related to everything from our health and the environment to what you're really buying at the store. What are the real implications of grass-fed beef on climate change? What goes into humanely processing animals at harvesting facilities? Why are grading, labeling, and traceability essential for the end consumer? What's the beef with eating meat? There are two sides to every story. Yet in the beef industry's case, only one seems to get most of the airtime. I want to help correct this mistake and reveal the side that is usually ignored by the media, which often presents a simplistic, one-dimensional story. That's why Glorious Beef is not just about debunking myths, it's about sharing the truths behind the industry's story of survival and constant evolution. It's based on what I have seen and experienced on a personal level as I grew up, and on a professional level as I came up in the industry myself. I'm not here to tell you what to do or how to think. I want to give you enough information for you to be able to make the right choices for yourself. It's time to bring beef back to its glory, celebrate its history and accomplishments, and shine a light on all it has to offer. This is the industry's story. This is the story of everyone who enjoys that juicy steak on their plate. And of course, this is also my story, because the meat industry is my home. Part 1 From the Farm 1. The Growers It's three in the morning, and I'm sitting in the passenger seat of my dad's car, heart pounding with excitement as he drives down the Belt Parkway from our home in Bensonhurst, Brooklyn, toward Manhattan. I grab my dad's pack of Marlboro Reds lying on the seat between us and take a long and deep whiff. I've never smoked, but that smell of raw tobacco to this day is my dad, even though he quit years ago. It bathes me in a sense of pure comfort. Wide awake with anticipation, I look out at the empty New York streets in the dark of the night. I've driven to work with my dad before, but this time... It's different. It's 1981, I'm ten years old, and my father is going to finally let me stand at the butcher's table with him and my grandfather and cut meat for our customers. We walk into our family shop, Pat Lafrida Meat Purveyors, on Bleecker Street and West 10th, and as my dad greets my grandfather and settles in, I go straight for the butcher coats, sliding my arms into one of those all-important white garments and buttoning it up over the several layers of T-shirts and shirts I'd carefully put on earlier. I'd learned my lesson. If I wanted to make it through the work shift, I knew I had to layer up and keep moving to stay warm in the 36-degree temperatures. When my dad gives me the signal, I walk over to the six-foot-long butcher table, lined with meat that's ready to be turned into the day's orders. At ten, I barely reach the table— but I got the boost I needed by stepping onto an old milk crate that propelled me up to the cutting sweet spot, where the knives were at a safe distance from my face. And there I stood, flanked by my father at right and my grandfather at left, the two men I admired most in the world, immersed in the smell of sweet, fresh beef. As I sank my knife into the top round before me, all I could think was, this is it. This is what I want to do with my life. I was hooked. But I knew nothing about where the meat on the table came from. 
I had no idea about all the hard work and sacrifice that went into procuring it, selling it, and delivering it.